the world's main donor governments provide over $11 billion a year in humanitarian aid, but how effective is that aid? DARA is an independent international organization committed to improving the quality and effectiveness of humanitarian aid for people suffering from conflict, disasters and climate change. The Humanitarian Response Index is one example of the mechanisms we use for this. Each year since 2007, the Humanitarian Response Index examines the quality, effectiveness and impact of 23 leading government donors. The basis is the Good Humanitarian Donorship Declaration, developed and signed by donor governments in 2003. It's a really important to provide an independent and ob objective view of how their governments are providing assistance. The Humanitarian Response Index 2010 is based on field research in 14 countries affected by humanitarian crises. Together, these countries received over 70% of global humanitarian funding. Our teams look at how the donors have responded, but then we use that information as part of the rankings that we do each year. The Humanitarian Response Index assesses critical issues around the quality and effectiveness of aid in five pillars of donor practice. Pillar 1 – Responding to needs of affected populations. Pillar 2 – Support to prevention, risk reduction and recovery. Pillar 3 – Working with humanitarian organisations. Pillar 4 – respect and promotion of protection and international humanitarian law. Pillar 5. Learning and accountability. Denmark, Ireland and New Zealand lead the Humanitarian Response Index 2010, followed by Norway, Sweden and the European Commission. These donors do well in responding to needs and keeping their humanitarian assistance independent from political, economic or security objectives. Nevertheless, this year's report reveals the increasing politicisation and militarisation of aid. The concerns with political agendas has impeded the delivery of essential humanitarian assistance to millions of those in need. The Humanitarian Response Index provides evidence on how to improve the quality, effectiveness and impact of aid. Humanitarian reform still needs to be advanced further and more quickly in the area of leadership in crises. Maintaining aid independent from other interests, investing in preparedness and prevention. Joining together principle and efficiency uh, I think can help to, to make people confident that their efforts, their money is of value. The Humanitarian Response Index is not about numbers, rankings or statistics. It's about people. It is a shared responsibility of the whole humanitarian community to ensure that the best possible support is available.